Located in the suburbs of Addis Ababa, this Rupi Waste Energy plant takes 420,000 tons of waste annually and produces 50 megawatts of electricity. That is enough power for 25% of Addis Ababans. And after five years of construction, Africa's first waste energy facility is now open. To see accelerated development in Ethiopia, we are using production such as hydro, wind and geothermal power. This REPI facility is a good example of our commitment to a green growth strategy. It's an example for many other countries across the world, and we believe this will give us a better image in the eyes of many. The 96 million US dollars West Energy Facility is said to be fully financed by the Ethiopian government, Cambridge Industries and China National Electric Engineering were the companies behind the construction. It is a testament of Ethiopia's ability to attract and allow many global players to work on a single project seamlessly. We have incorporated best practices from around the world and the lessons from hundreds of facilities was focused to build a unique facility for Addis Ababa. This REPI project is a joint work of multilateral cooperation. As my predecessors mentioned, uh, international partnership. And I believe we can do more projects together by way of co-financing, co-constructing, and co-running. It was last year a tragedy caused by rubbish slide here claimed 114 lives. Now the same waste will be used to provide electricity for the people living around Koshe landfill or those across Ethiopia's capital. Ethiopia's Rapi Waste to Energy Facility, by the way, delivers more than electricity to the country. The ash from the facility will be used to annually produce 3 million bricks for local use. 3.6 million kilograms of scrap metal will be collected from here for recycling purposes and 1.2 million tons of carbon dioxide will be turned into oxygen. That is equal to planting 900,000 trees every year. Grumchara CGTN at the Rapi Wesu Energy Facility at Isababa, Ethiopia.